WHO defines rare disease as often debilitating lifelong disease or disorder with a prevalence of one or less per thousand population. However, different countries have their own definitions to suit their specific requirements and in context of their own population, healthcare system and resources. 300 million people worldwide are affected by a rare disease. The European Organization for Rare Diseases estimates that between 3.5 and 5.9 of the world's population is affected by one of the rare diseases identified to date. About 80% of rare diseases have a genetic component and only about 400 have therapies according to Rare Genomics Institute. Rare diseases can vary in prevalence between populations, so a disease that is rare in some population may be common in others. Chronic genetic diseases are commonly classified as rare. Among numerous responsibilities, rare diseases may result from bacterial or viral infections, allergies, chromosomal disorders, degenerative and proliferative causes affecting any body organ. Rare diseases may be chronic or incurable, although many short-term medical conditions are also rare diseases. Early diagnosis of the rare disease is a challenge owing to multiple factors that include lack of awareness among primary care physicians, lack of adequate screening and diagnostic facilities. Many doctors lack appropriate training and awareness to be able to correctly and timely diagnose and treat these conditions. Delay in diagnosis or a wrong diagnosis increases the suffering of the patients exponentially. There is an immediate need to create awareness amongst general public, patients and their families and doctors, training of doctors for early and acute diagnosis, standardization of diagnostic modalities and development of newer diagnostic and therapeutic tools. Availability and access to medicines are important to reduce mortality and morbidity associated with rare diseases. Despite progress in recent years, effective or safe treatment is not available for most of the rare diseases. Hence, even when a correct diagnosis is made, there may not be an available therapy to treat the rare disease. There are between 7,000 to 8,000 rare diseases, but less than 5% have therapies available to treat them. About 95% rare diseases have no approved treatments and less than 1 in 10 patients receiving the disease-specific treatment. Where drugs are available, they are prohibitively expensive, placing immense strain on resources. As the number of persons suffering from individual rare diseases is small, they do not constitute a significant market for drug manufacturers to develop and bring to market drugs for them. For this reason, rare diseases are also called orphan diseases and drugs to treat them are called orphan drugs. As India does not have a standard definition of rare diseases, it is difficult to arrive at their exact prevalence. The approximate number, though, is that 72 to 96 million people in India suffer from rare diseases. In India too, endogamy in the north and consanguinity in the south are said to be responsible for many of the rare diseases. Rare diseases place a major economic burden on any country and especially in resource constrained settings. Hence, any policy on rare diseases needs to be considered in the context of the available scarce resources and the need for their utmost judicious utilization for maximizing the overall health outcomes for the whole of the society measured in terms of increase of health life years. We support rare disease.